and welcome to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and today I have a very special guest. His name is Scott Fear. He's the division manager for Copper Cane Wines, and this is my new home with these Joe Wagner Wines Pinot Chard Rosé. I'm not moving from this. So, Scott, welcome to the table. Thank you very much. And these are going to be amazing because they have such a following. Take it away. So, yeah, this portfolio was created by Joe Wagner, a uh, fifth-generation winemaker out of California. Very famous family. His father owns Camus, which uh, famous Cabernet. I'm sure they're aware of. Sure. Joe uh, is a father of six children. All of these wines uh, were created by Joe from start to finish. I think the key here is that uh, they all have great minerality, great flavor, and they pair tremendous with food. And they're very affordable, especially when Michelle puts them on sale. So let's start with this gorgeous Chardonnay. Sure. This is L1 Chardonnay from Oregon. L1 means good light, so we picked the grapes perfectly ripe, no green characteristics in any of our wine. And the key is we use three different appellations of Oregon, uh, Willamette, Rogue, and Umpqua Valley. Beautiful. What I like about it, and Joe Wagner obviously is just a genius at what he does. Scott and myself and Ms. Sheila have had dinner downtown and have been exposed to this wonderful portfolio. But getting back to the Chardonnay, it's not over oak. No. It's not cloying. It's balanced. It is. And, and in Oregon, you think of Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris, but only 2% of the production in Oregon is Chardonnay. So it's a very small production, but has great acidity, great crispness to it. And you're right, uh, the pricing's phenomenal for the uh, holiday weekend. Absolutely. What would you pair this with? So fish is perfect. Um, you know, you have to have a, a rich, ripe Chardonnay that can hold up to uh, some of the fish. And you were even talking about the uh, tuna that you were sure, grilling sure. and how to grill the tuna. I think it's perfect with tuna, with uh, the chimichurri sauce that yes, you're going to be making. absolutely. Sounds great. And then a beautiful, beautiful bel glass rosé of Pinot Noir. It is. And Joe's grandmother was uh, 98 years old when she passed away, but he created this line called bel glass and named it after her. So the rosé is very emblematic of her style. It's crisp. It has great acidity as well. It's 100% Pinot Noir from a 22-acre property in Sonoma County, and it's called Eau de Padre. So the, the key here is that the color of the wine matches the color of the eye of the partridge. So Eau de Padre means eye of the partridge. Right. So um, and, and on the cap, we don't have the cap with us, but uh, there is a partridge on the cap of the uh, Belle Gloss Eau de Padre or Rosé. Right. It's dry. It's crisp. It has a sense of spring strawberries and a little bit of pomegranate uh, hibiscus yep uh raspberry puree it is and and i always tell people when you're starting out a summer picnic or any kind of dinner there's great great wine to start out a meal with sure and rosé is definitely at the top of my list for it's, sure it's rosé season at argonaut we've got a great selection and this is the first time that i'm trying this because it is so good yeah Absolutely. Come on down. Mm. This is another good pairing with seafood, uh, eggplant, something that's not too heavy. Right. You can even drink it alone while you're prepping dinner. Absolutely. Yes. And there's some great restaurants in town that uh, have this on their wine list with sushi. Sure. So, yeah. Absolutely. And now the Elowan... So, yeah, this is one of the flagships of, of Joe's winemaking style. Um, he wow. has a, a company name that I work for called Copper Cane. When the vine lignifies the end of harvest and sheds all the green characteristics and has that copper color, that's when he knows the wine and the grapes are ready. To, actually, the grapes are ready to be picked. So this is Elowan Pinot Noir, 100%. Uh, Willamette Rogue and Umpqua Valley. Great mm -hmm. earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. We work with about 42 different growers. And uh, it's 100% Pinot Noir. I love the nose because you're, you're getting huckleberries and mulberries and macerated cherries, but it's not terribly heavy. It's just beautiful in your glass. It's almost an inky glass staining black, which for a Pinot Noir is quite remarkable. Yep. And the flavor is just so smooth and delicate. 
It, wow. it, it is. And mm. we do something called cryo extraction where we'll freeze the grapes with dry ice and we'll uh, bring them down to the winery. And then when the cell walls break open, you're getting that deep, dark, rich skin contact. So all of our red wines are, are deep, rich, and vibrant. And so this Pinot Noir is definitely, uh, you can see it's a definitely a darker Pinot Noir, but it pairs great with chicken sure. or even steak. Uh, this is uh, Elawan Pinot Noir, and it's 100% Oregon fruit as well. And look at the legs on that. It's just beautiful. Yeah. The slower the legs, I think the better crafted the wine. Absolutely. It Absolutely. is so flavorful, mocha, coffee. Yep. Dark chocolate. Mm. And for a Memorial Day weekend, this lineup is perfect and affordable. It is. For grilling, and you talk about a red wine for grilling and the versatility, L1 Pinot Noir for sure. Oh, Scott, this is just so beautiful. But... We have one more. I know. I know. The, I, don't, I, I don't want it to end. I know. It, it, it is. And, and Bell Gloss, you know, like I stated before, Joe's uh, grandmother, where uh, the name came from, Lorna Bell Gloss. This is Los Alturas, means the heights. So the vineyard runs north and south uh, at the base of the Salinas Valley. Uh, has great minerality to it. Sure. Seven different uh, soil types, believe it or not, in Los Alturas. And this is deep, dark, rich right. Pinot Noir. Uh, it is 100% Pinot Noir from a vineyard that Joe owns. Down in Monterey County. Wow. Yeah, this one's... It's, it's, it's a big Pinot Noir. It's something to reckon with. We carry three of these beautiful, beautiful... Oh, wow. Stacy. I know, I know. Pinots at Argonaut. Uh, this being one of my favorite, along with the Dairyman. Yep. Because we... Mott's comes from the Dairy State. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Uh, but just a gorgeous example of finesse and brilliance. It yeah, really is. It is. And people always say, you know, what are the difference between the Dairyman, Clark and Telephone, and Los Alturas? Each one has a different characteristic. Sure. Dairyman's a Russian river. It has a cherry profile to right. it. Clark and Telephone, Santa Barbara, has a spice element to it. And then Los Alturas from Monterey is the biggest and the boldest out of the three. Absolutely. So some of the steakhouses mm -hmm. in town uh, carry the Los Alturas because it holds up to steak. Sure. It's a steak yeah. lover's Pinot Noir. It, it really is because this is... Chocolate covered cherries. This is English toffee. This is a glass of divinity, for lack of a better word, because it's so smooth and it's so well made. Yep. And if you're not a Pinot Noir drinker, then try these because you've got unlimited possibilities. And I always like to, believe it or not, I like to chill the Pinot Noirs down. So you put it in the refrigerator 15, 20 mm -hmm. minutes, chill it. Sure. Then you bring it out and then you can you can start drinking it. And and the opposites with the Chardonnay, where you have your wine in a wine cooler or a refrigerator. Right. Bring it out for 15 minutes as well and let that, uh, you know, warm Just up a little bit. Open up beautifully. Exactly. Exactly. Scott, this has been amazing. Thank like you. I said, welcome to the table. Your first time here. And I hope to see you again later this summer or this autumn because you have a great portfolio and everybody out in tv land come on down to argonaut because we've got so much for you and you are going to love these wines so happy memorial day weekend everybody scott cheers cheers thanks, thanks for coming down and we'll see you soon thank you so much